it took everyone, everyone from the toughest thing I've ever seen when immigration takes your father, takes your friends, takes everyone that you know, being handcuffed, being treated like trash. Hello, my name is Gerardo Hernandez. I am in 12th grade. I go to Hobie. I study diesel tech and I want to own a company in the near future. Hola, mi nombre es Lady. Soy de origen mexicano. Tengo 35 años y me dedico a trabajar. Mi nombre es Zaira Hernandez. Soy mamá de Gerardo Hernandez. Tengo aparte otros tres hijos, hombre Karime Angel y Mateo. I'm Holly Adkins. I'm a Spanish teacher here at Willard High School. And I grew up in the Melmore area. I grew up on a farm with my mom and my dad. When they divorced, when I was in high school, I moved to Tiffin. I graduated from Tiffin Columbia High School. I attended Bluffton College, which is now Bluffton University, and graduated from there. And I took a job teaching Spanish here in Willard, and I've been here ever since and I've had the pleasure of working with many Hispanic students over the last 20 years. Hi, my name is Kramer Hernandez. I attend Norwalk High School. Uh, my future plans is to attend UHOBE and do cosmetology. My name is Kevin Zacharias. I'm currently 17 years old, and I'm currently a pioneer in Shelby, Ohio. I'm doing criminal justice there. The reason for uh, being in criminal justice is because I'm planning to be a special agent in the FBI, or at least a detective. Not only that, but I'm planning to attend uh, college for videography and photography. Hello, my name is Angel Hernandez. I'm 13 years old. I go to Norwalk Middle School in the seventh grade. I was four years old when I came to the United States. Actually, I did remember uh, part of it. I remember actually crossing the border when I was four years old at that moment. Um, uh, I was crying at that moment and my mom was holding me. I arrived at Paso, Texas when I was six months. Trying to, always trying to do stuff other kids are doing and I always had um, that thought that I'm an immigrant and I can't do that. I'm afraid to get caught. Originally, I wanted to be a history teacher and when I was in high school, I spoke with my guidance counselor and he I don't want to say he discouraged me, but he asked me what else I was going to do because there were so many history teachers and most of them were coaches and I was not involved in any sports and he suggested that I really look into some other options and he saw my grades in Spanish and he said, wow, you're really good at language. Spanish is some place where we really need teachers. Yes, it's kind of hard for um, the Hispanics to kind of like fit in with the other people, but you know, they kind of just get used to it after a while. You're just like that one person that stands out a little bit more. Well, my childhood here was, when I first came here, I really experienced it very weird because I didn't know any English at all. All I knew was Spanish, and I remember one time when I went to Walmart, actually everyone that was in Walmart, people were just staring at us, and I guess we were different. I remember during the summer, he's like, Mom, I don't want to work the field, I don't want to work, I, don't, I want to work in an office, I want to work like somewhere easier, you know, but he couldn't because he wasn't from here.